Did you know that there's a 90 mile route that snakes through the harshest, most wild and exposed corners of the Cairngorms National Park? The route is fittingly named Snow Roads and it's a route that's brutal and often undrivable in the winter. We decided to drive it not just in the winter, but in the worst weather of the year. So we're going to go to a place to start the road trip officially, which I think just has a name that just fits such an epic journey. So this is Cockstain and it's the perfect place to start the Snow Roads road trip. I only literally came here because it's called Cockstain. That shows how mature I am. So we've got 13 minutes to head to the first sort of stop off, which is an art installation. Now the Snow Roads have built three different art installations throughout the route that you can sort of stop off with. And it's got a nice view there at the art installation, very much like what they had in Norway actually. So you'll have a beautiful view and then they'll have put some cool sort of architecture thing there so you can go out and have a look around it and then take some photos. And the first one we've got is called Connecting, what did I say it's called? Contour. Connecting Contours. What I have found is probably the best utility any road trip has had that I've seen up to now, which is an app. So on my phone it works fine, it shows you the route and it's got all the different places to stop off and everything else. However, on Danny's phone, it shows absolutely no. It just has a map with nothing on it. When the app works, it works really well. So you can put in what type of things you're interested in. And essentially what it'll do is it'll point them out on a map and it even sort of talks to you when you get there to say you've unlocked such and such. So that's what we're using for this road trip, as well as obviously park for night as we normally do to find some nice overnight locations. What you ended up doing? <laughs> I went to walk away here to take a photo of the van in the snow and it's literally... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. This is, <laughs> this is so much deeper than <laughs> I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> so this is connecting contours and it's pretty lethal in the snow because you literally can't see whether it's just normal ground or whether it's about three foot deep of snow. And I'm guessing this is the installation, which is I think sort of a long bench that you sit on. However, you can't really see it. So that's the end of that one, I suppose. Someone is braving the weather and camping in a roof tent, which I can't even imagine how cold it must be. We've just clocked the lowest temperature so far as we were driving back there, and for about five minutes it was minus 16 degrees, which is insane. We were just talking, I don't think I've ever been anywhere that cold. It's absolutely numb instantly, but I love it. off to find what I didn't realize was actually a thing until I was told about and done a little bit of research on it but it's a pyramid that's in Scotland an actual pyramid so we'll tell you a little bit more about it if we can find it when we get a little bit further down the road because it's about half an hour from here this is the coldest weather I think I've ever been out in it's so, so cold. It's about, I think it's minus 13 or something here. So God knows what it was like further around, but the sort of air is just absolutely freezing.
to be fair the pyramid's pretty impressive it's a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be actually but the views are just absolutely ridiculous the new style frozen hair no, don't <laughs> keep getting close up to me <laughs> we've got frozen beard and frozen hair temperature is dropping again and the roads are be becoming a lot more sketchy there's a lot more snow on the roads and how deep it looks like it is here it looks like this has had much more snow than anywhere else we've been so far the spot that i found looks it's a car park with like toilets and picnic benches and stuff in but so far anything like that that we've seen realistically you cannot even notice that it's there because when the plow the plows are just pushing all the snow and sort of blocking off any little laybys and car parks and anything else with a barrier of snow if i can't get into this one then there's nothing else really up here so then we're a little bit stuck the only real positive is we've been brought on the a944 which was signposted as a sort of highland tourist route so presumably the sort of car park type location that i, that I found on park for night is quite like a sort of, it's got a toilets and stuff in so potentially it might be quite a big one that the may like plow as well stressful driving in there. <laughs> I mean it's it's literally we've just pulled up here and it's minus 11.5 that's cool oh. Oh, well this is the park up for the night right next to some bottle banks that someone will probably come and empty stuff into early in the morning no one our look but anyway on to the big news which is a new van it's coming in January and the new van that I'm getting is there's a reason Danny's sitting in the driver's seat with a dressing gown <laughs> And a wool hat on, and that's because, well, somewhere between 11 ish and 1, when we went to sleep, the gas had ran out, so the heating went off. Now, the temperature got down to minus 18 outside last night, and when we checked this morning when we got up, it was minus 6 inside the van, which is obviously ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just trying to get me too fast. This is an example of how cold it is. Watch this. <laughs> 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 I can't get any out. Are you winding me up? <laughs> I've got dog breath slows oh today. Oh god, no. I think I have a noddy in the car. <laughs> literally closed pretty much everywhere the full second half of the route that we wanted to do is closed I suppose that's the downside of the snow roads route is in the summer it's a lovely drive I've done it before kind of in the summer not the full route but I've done most of it I haven't attempted it in the winter before but I suppose it's like a balance between getting this beautiful snow and also then it being completely impassable and you can't do half of it Now we have luckily found a solution for tonight for the camper van because obviously we haven't got any gas and finding gas is probably going to be a problem. One of the good things about the Grand California and there isn't many is that if you're hooked up onto mains or on a campsite you can heat the van or heat the water using the electric instead of gas so that's what we're going to do. Obviously we needed a campsite though so we rang Glenmore Camp in the forest which is right next to where we normally camp anyway. If you haven't been up there before and you like campsites rather than wild camping or if you've got kids and you just like to be know for a fact you're not going to get bothered it's well worth it well it's the following day we actually ended up sleeping pretty much all day woke up for a bit had some food went straight back to sleep much needed and it was warm because obviously we're plugged into the campsite and all was good we're packing up we're heading over to a car park just across the road we're going to go out for a nice little walk today and there while we're on the walk that's when i'll tell you what the new van is that i'm buying well that i've bought yeah i've already bought it and it comes in january so where well, it's meant to 
I hope it does. I'll be gutted if it doesn't. But anyway, I'll let you know what it is while we're out and about. But we need to get finished, get sorted, because we've got to be off this site in 10 minutes. So, the part of the video that everyone's been waiting for now that I've avoided doing for quite a while just so you wait at this point well, I'll tell you what kind of van that I'm replacing the Grand California with. But anyway, the van I'm getting is an MEN TGE 4x4. It's a long wheelbase and it is being converted by rock and roll campers in concert. But we wanna wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope you have a safe, an enjoyable one with your friends and family and everyone else and yeah thanks for everything thanks for all the support in 2022 and hopefully it'll continue and you don't get sick of us in 2023 the mate if you keep going on about the great house and <laughs> yeah